Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Brink of Speed. My name is Mike, and I want to personally thank you for hitting that play button. Now, before we get into the video today, I want to explain why I haven't made any videos recently. And I want to do this with uh, as little emotion as I possibly can. But I want to tell you guys about some, some very bad news that I received last week. And uh, it's pretty much the worst news I've ever received in my life. And you guys are like family to me. And so I just want to let you know what's going on in my life right now. And I'll keep it very brief. But I had a 20-year-old nephew that passed away last week. And he was very near and dear to my heart. And it's been a very rough time. I've actually traveled to Colorado, and I'm going to be in Colorado for a little while. And so uh, all of my videos are obviously going to be voiceover videos about uh, different subjects. And so for those of you who are friends with me on Facebook, you have obviously seen my posts about this. But uh, and, and I really appreciate all of the kind words and thoughts and prayers from you guys. Uh, but if you guys could do me a favor who have not heard about this and just keep uh, me and my whole family and especially his mom and dad in your thoughts and prayers, I would hugely appreciate that. So that is the reason why I haven't made any videos. I haven't felt up to it, obviously. But today I felt like I wanted to go ahead and make one and especially because I had a really uh, cool subscriber reach out to me and actually give me this idea. And so uh, this all came from a subscriber. And so I'd like to talk to you about why I believe and he believes that Chevy must change in order to attract the younger crowd. Now, we obviously know that the C7 has gone leaps and bounds in this direction uh, towards gaining a younger crowd for the Corvette. But they need to take it quite a few steps further in order to make certain that the young people want the Corvette instead of other sports and supercars that are out there. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. First of all, my subscriber wanted to talk about why the Corvette inventory is actually a problem when going to a dealership and, and trying to just buy a brand new Corvette with the options that you would like to see in it as a younger person. Uh, basically what he talks about is that, or, or what his opinion of the matter is, that there's so many older guys buying these Corvettes that Chevrolet dealerships are basically putting these Corvettes together to meet these guys expectations uh, and a lot of these older guys are wanting the comfort the more comfortable seats they're wanting kind of plain interiors a lot of them order either a 1lz car or a 3lz car they're they're usually not in the middle with the 2lz package so when you go to the uh, dealership lots basically what you're seeing is 1lzs and 3lzs with like a gray interior or uh, a light tan interior uh, or, or that uh, more reddish tan interior. And what he would like to see is more colorful interiors. And when he's talking about this, he's comparing it to obviously supercars and hypercars. And I know that the Corvette is not a hypercar, in my opinion, it is a supercar. And so I agree with this guy. I agree that it should come more standard like a supercar. And that interior should be like a black with stitching that matches the color of the car. And paddle shifters that maybe match the color of the car. And, you know, stitching on the dash, not just the seats but stitching on the dash that matches the color of the car so that there's the beautiful contrast between a black leather interior and beautiful, colorful stitching in that black leather interior. Also, if you take a look at even just 
uh, for example, a Ford Focus RS, those seats are a competition sport bucket seat. They have the colorful stitching on them. And same with GT350 uh, R's and 350s. So what he'd also like to see, and I agree with him 100%, is competition seats in a lot of these cars. That way, when a younger person walks into a Chevy dealership and they start looking at Corvettes, the first thing they notice on the inside is if it looks super sporty. If they look on the inside and it's got these normal leather seats that aren't sporty looking competition seats, they're going to be turned off right away, even if they love the outside of the car. And so one thing that he would love to also see is most of these Corvettes at the dealership come with competition seats. And by the way, for all of these people that say they can't fit in the competition seats, he wants to let everybody know that he is 52 years old and he's 244 pounds. And he says the competition seats fit him just fine. He said he doesn't understand why people say that they don't fit him. And a lot of the people that I've talked to say they are just as comfortable as the seats that are in my car, which is just the normal sport seat. So one other thing that he would like to see happen with this video is he would like me to take a poll and he would like for you guys, my audience and the, the great Brink of Speed community to leave a comment below stating whether you agree with this or not, whether you think that uh, GM would make a good decision to go ahead and put competition seats in most of the Corvettes that they deliver to the Chevy dealerships. And on top of that, go with a very beautiful uh, leather and then stitch that leather with the same color of the outside of the car. So it really has this beautiful contrast and also do the same on the dash and maybe even the roof, you know, uh, some of the 3LZ packages come with beautifully stitched Alcantara roofs on the current C7. Why not do that on most of the cars that are delivered to the dealership? If a young person is considering a higher end sports car, maybe like a Porsche or a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or a McLaren, any of those cars that are higher end as far as interiors go, then a Corvette, they may change their mind once they look inside of this Corvette and see that it looks just as nice as those other brands on the inside. And obviously they love the way they look on the outside and the Corvette performs, you know, just like those other cars or better. So when putting all of those pieces together for this one perfect uh, younger generation type car, GM's got to really step it up and make certain that they appeal to the younger crowd because they're still going to get the older people buying the car. However, they will get many more younger generation guys and gals buying this car if they make these changes. So that's going to do it for me. I agree 100% with everything that this subscriber has sent me and asked me to do uh, this video on. And that's why I went ahead and did it. I want to thank him for sending me this idea of doing this video and basically laying it out for me. And uh, just, I, I think it's great. And I want to offer the same to anyone else that has great ideas for Corvette videos. If you have an excellent idea that you think Brink of Speed should bring to the YouTube community, go ahead and send it over to me in an email. Obviously, you know my email is always down below in the description, but I'll I'll put it up here for you guys to see also. And uh, send it to me and let's see if we can get it done. I hope each and every one of you enjoyed this video. Please hit that subscribe button and the bell button next to it. If you'd like to become a part of the Brink of Speed community, smash that thumbs up button if you love this video. And again, please keep me and my whole family in your thoughts and prayers. But other than that, you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you 
out on the road.